the deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. you'll strain yourself. I said I'd ruin you the next time you ever did that. I'm just trying to teach you something. <laughs> well, can't you do it without spoiling a good dream? No. In this country, you've got to be on guard even when you're asleep. Oh, that's impossible. When I'm asleep, nobody can come within hearing distance of me without my knowing it. Yeah, but you're a light sleeper. Now, I'm going to make one out of you, too. Another week of this water treatment, and if I just look at a canteen, you'll wake up. I'm warning you, fella. If you ever so much as... gun. Now toss down the payroll. And no funny business, or we'll give you a dose of lead. I'd like to know what a man looks like when I'm fighting with him. Now get up. What do you want with me? I don't want any part of you, but the sheriff might be interested.
Miss, and uh, 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 a couple of outlaws held up the mining company stage coach, and, and, and my partner, the range rider, he took off after two of them, and I, I followed the other one. Here? I think so. But why would any bandit want to come here? Well, maybe for the same reason I'm glad I did. I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, you see, Miss, when an outlaw's on a run, he, he just doesn't care where he goes. I mean, well... Anyway, I'm sure glad I'm here. <laughs> You're very kind. Um, maybe I ought to stick around and sort of protect you. Oh, well, I'm sure that won't be necessary. My brother should be back in town almost any minute. Is that all the family you have? Just a little brother? He's a big brother. That's too bad. I mean, um, he's a big boy. Yes, he is. Well, thank you for being so considerate. If the West is ever to be made safe for law-abiding people, I know that we can depend upon men like you. Huh. Yes, I'm... Uh, well, you mustn't forget the Range Rider, uh, Miss... Uh, Miss... Bates. Bonnie Bates. And don't worry. I won't forget him. <laughs> but what would he think of me if he knew I was detaining you for more important things? Golly, right now I don't care what he thinks. You're sweet. You're awfully sweet. Oh, well, bye, Miss Bates. Goodbye, Mr. West, and, and thank you again for everything. I won't forget it. Neither will I. Goodbye. Goodbye. almost caught me. I barely had time to get back into this dress. Who is he? Never mind about him. It's his friend, the Range Rider, we've got to worry about. Where's Kane? He got caught. He what? Don't worry, he won't talk. You don't think so? Why do you suppose our old man's in jail today? Let's not go into that. Because he didn't use his head, that's why. He trusted too many people. Well, I'm not making the same mistake. Well, I'll tell you, Sheriff, the one that gave the orders is just a kid. If you're sure, I'll round up a posse right away. There's one man that you won't have to round up, Sheriff. Range Rider, Judd was just telling me that you saw it happen. Recognize him, Judd? Well, I... I can't rightly say for sure. Put it on. Put it on! Recognize him now? Gosh, I don't know. It all happened so quick like, I, I wouldn't want to be wrong. All right, Range Rider, you're so smart. Get yourself out of this one. I'm still holding you 24 hours just in case. In case of what? In case we stay unlucky and have to release you. Come on, inside. I'm sorry I couldn't be any more help to you, Range Rider. My eyes ain't what they used to be. Forget it, Jeff. Forget it. What do you think we ought to do now, Range Rider? Oh, he's stalling, Sheriff. You know his kind as well as I do. Here's his gun. Two shots were fired. 
I'm afraid that's still no proof. Hi. What'd you find out? Nothing. The guy I was trailing gave me the slip. Whereabouts? Oh, out there at that cute little gal's ranch. What cute little gal? Oh, her name's Bonnie. Bonnie Bates. Oh, I, you'd like her, compadre. She's... I know. She's different. That's what I was gonna say. Every petticoat you meet is different. Oh, lay off me, will you? you? You think I was a crook or something. Hey, that gives me an idea. What's on your mind, Range Rider? The man you just put in jail, Sheriff, has never seen Dickie. So what? So they say it takes a crook to catch a crook. How'd you like to trade places with one of the Sheriff's wallflowers? Uh-uh. Every time you get ideas like that, I get different ideas. Thanks, anyway. Lock him up, Sheriff. This is a notorious panhandle kid. What? Oh, no. See you later. Ah, hold it. Now, let me tell you about yourself. You're the notorious panhandle kid, and you're from McKinney, Texas. Hmm? You've got a reputation for being one of the fastest gun slicks in the Southwest. I am? You've got about nine notches on your gun. I have? You've made about four jailbreaks. Yeah? Now, don't forget, you're supposed to be a rough, tough hombre. <clears throat> I am. All right, all right. Take your paws off of me. All right, shut up and keep moving. Go on. If you weren't hiding behind that gun, I'd... Shut up I'd... and get over there. Now get in there to your cool off, Mr. Panhandle Kid. Who's he? What's it to you? Well, so long, boys. When you get ready to talk, I'll be right outside. Star, no good star packer. Locking me in this crummy jail for robbing a two-bit stage? Me, the panhandle kid. Now, ain't that a laugh? What's so funny about it? Nothing, pal. Only just don't be surprised if I ain't hanging around for breakfast tomorrow morning. Want to make any bets? Yeah, I'll make you a bet. I'll bet you all the money you made on that holdup. What holdup? I heard him gassing about it out in the office. Now, you still want to bet? You talk big. Let's see the color of your dough. Oh, don't worry. I got mine stashed away. Plenty of it. And there's lots more where it came from. Like I said before, you talk big. Well, what you think don't worry me, because I'm getting out of here. How are you going to manage that? What do you care? You ain't leaving. Oh, I might be talked into changing my mind. Well, who said I asked you to? Two's better than one. Might be at that. I thought you'd come around seeing it my way. Now, what's your plan? Well, now, it might be a little rough on you, but if you're still game, here's what I got figured out. Okay, let's make this look good. My turn. Oh. Sheriff, you all right? This was the way we planned it. Hey, that's you? Yeah, I'm here.
for? You got us out now. I'll take you in. Whose place is this? You take the horse and put him in that barn over there. I'll tell my partners we're here. Bonnie. Bonnie. It's me, Kane. Where are you? It's about time. Where's Harp? Harp? How should I know? What do you mean, how should you know? I sent him to get you out. If that wasn't my brother I heard right up with you, who was it? The Panhandle Kid. Why? Who? The Panhandle Kid. We made the break together. You brought a stranger here. Take it easy, Bonnie. Take it easy. This Panhandle Kid's plenty tough. The law even thinks he bosses this outfit. Listen, there's only one boss of this outfit, and you're looking at her. Where is he? He's outside, waiting to meet you. Send him in. Yeah. You got a surprise coming to you, kid. Go on inside. I'll water the horses. So it was your brother I trailed here. You made quite a chump out of me, didn't you? Please, don't say that, Dick. I know what you must think of me. But if you suddenly found out that your own flesh and blood was wanted by the law, well, what else can a sister do but try to protect him? Dick, you don't know what I've been through since this morning. I can't blame you for wanting to protect your brother, but... Well, it'll make it a lot easier on him if you'll tell me where he is. I don't know, Dick. Please believe me. I'd like to believe you, Bonnie, but... What's a gun for, kid? To use if I have to. Who is this, anyway? You. You got my brother into this. I told him not to trust you. Let's take a look around. Go on, let's go this way. What's going on? Never mind. Just stay in front of me. Go on, move. Go ahead, lock him up in the other room. He's out of the way till we can get out of here. Come on. You go ahead. I'll wait for Harper. He's not worth it, Bonnie. You know it. He's still my brother. All right. In that case, I'll take mine now. I had it ready for you. Here. Where's the rest of it? Get out. <laughs> You're tough, Bonnie. But not that tough. I mean what I said, King. Get out. But money. Let go of her. What's this all about? Never mind that now. Just lock him up in the other room with the panhandle kid. Who? The Range Rider's pal. you? What are you 
are you doing here? Well, they call me the Range Rider. And I'm after two men that escaped from jail and their partner. I heard some shots coming from this direction. Oh, so, uh, you thought they came from here? Is that it? Well, I thought they might have. Well, in that case, I'm afraid you've guessed wrong. As you can see, I'm quite alone. Well, as you can see, so am I. I'm sorry if I frightened you. Well, it sounds as though all of a sudden you have guests. Excuse me. Be chilled, Romeo, so you better check on your girlfriend. Yes, sir. as long as I live. You must admit that Bonnie was different. Excuse me a minute, Dickie. Please allow me to help you, ma'am. You're very kind. Packages can be awful bungles sometimes. This little boy is angling for an introduction. The only trouble is that he's allergic to petticoats. Some men are awful flirts. They certainly are. 